Today, we are going to look at what I think is the most useful camping knot, especially in situations like this. When you're setting up a hammock, all those lines coming off the tarp, those are taut lines. The taut line knot, which we can see here, is a friction hitch. This is the knot I've been tying almost my entire life, starting out in Boy Scouts. Uh, I'm gonna show you step-by-step -step instructions how to tie this, but I also wanna show you the applications, what are really bad applications of it, and then I'll show you some variations of this knot so that you can see what different kinds of knots you can tie with it, but also how you can tie it wrong. Now I'm just gonna start with this piece of tarp line. It's around a stump. I'm gonna pull it tight. Right Now we have the standing end, which is under pressure. Now that's really hard to tie different knots, but you can tie a taut line. So what you do with this working end of the rope, you do one loop around, that's what's called half hitch. That holds the tension. And I'll show you this in more detail in just a sec. I wanna show you the application. One more time underneath, and then one time above. And what I used to do is just pinch that, tighten it, now I lost zero tension as I tied the knot, but you have a friction knot, so you can actually crank it down a little bit more. Pretty cool. Now let me show you step by step, but I'm gonna use a rope with a slightly different color so you can see exactly how to tie this. I'm gonna use this traditional rope here because it looks cool. Here's your standing end, here's the working end. We're gonna do one loop on the inside, just like so, tie that tight. This is what's called a hitch. A hitch is a way to connect a rope to another one. Now we're gonna loop over one more time in the same direction. See that same direction? And tighten that down. That's two hitches on this side of the rope. Then we're gonna continue the direction on this side. Okay, watch. We'll go loop it over and through. And that is your taut line. Now it will hold pressure tight, tight. See, just like that, I can pull on it. This is a friction hitch. Let me show a variation then. If I was to take this hitch, and instead of on this side, I get it on this side, that gives a little more strain, a little more friction. And I'll continue that loop on the top here. See that? There we go. This is a midshipman. Back it up one more time. Okay, now we're left with the first hitch. Now I just loop it over one time and, and through. That is simply a clove hitch on the rope. So it's, it's what they call two half hitches. Now this is not great because that, that whole rope, it can slip a little bit. It's too little friction. That's why you put the extra hitch in. Now when you wouldn't use this knot is in situations where the rope is a it's a big, thick, modern rope, like a climbing rope or something, because it's, it's very slick, it's very strong. But watch what happens when I try to tie the taut line. So I'm gonna loop it over that first time, get that hitch in it, loop it over a second time, okay? And it's just, it's harder to tie than the thin line. I'll tie a third one. It, it, the rope really wants to be stiff, and it, it just doesn't, doesn't tie very well. So like, I can pull on that, and it slips. So that's, it's not a great, it just, it, it doesn't bind well on itself. And I can't get a very clean knot because you just can't, can't loop enough times around. And it's just, this is where you would use other types of climbing type knots. I wanted to point that out. This is not a good situation to use a taut line. And here's a quick recap. You create a loop and a hitch on the inside, another hitch on the inside, and then a hitch on the outside. That is an adjustable taut line. All right, thanks everybody for watching that little short knot video. It's something I do every Saturday called Skills Saturday on Stone Age Man. We're doing different types of knots, different types of, types of cutting tools, different things you would use out here in the wild because I'm trying to get people to reconnect with nature. So stay tuned, subscribe if you haven't, and we'll see you in the next video.